Welcome to Tech Brothers Damir. In this video, we are going to understand the group by clause in SQL Server. Let's open SSMS and take a look. Here, I have kind of definition for you. What is group by? Group by clause is often used with aggregate functions such as sum, average, count, max, min to group the result set by a column or columns. So let's uh, jump into the example and try to understand what exactly this means. So I have uh, this uh, Tech Brothers IT database uh, where I'm creating a DBO customer table with ID, first name, last name, country short name, state and sale amount. Now these three columns are very important and we are going to use them. Now I have some values. Uh, uh, that I'm inserting into DBO customer. So let's go ahead and run the table, run this query, insert the values. Now, in the last video, what I showed you guys how to use the aggregate functions. So, so aggregate function such as sum is going to give us the sum of all the row values. So here, in case of a sale amount, if I would like to find the sum of a sale amount, so I can use this one. And now you see, let's put the alias as a uh, total sale. And this is going to give me the sum of all the rows in the sale amount column. So I got 253. Let's say if I would like to find the count of these records, so I can go ahead and say count asterisk that will give me the total rows from that table. So this is another aggregate function. Now, this is not going to happen. People will not be only asking you, hey, give me the total sale for the entire table or give me the total count, row counts from that table. People will be asking you very difficult questions. They would like to know, okay, now you have the sum of the sale amount for entire rows. They would like to categorize that into the country. So think about that if they would like to ask you, provide us the sum of sale amount by country short name. So that's the, the question you have to write query to answer. So now we, as we know that we have to use the aggregate function, we need to find the sum. We will be using group by to categorize that sale amount. So simply I will go at the end of the query from the table or view wherever I am then I'm gonna go ahead and say group by and then provide the name of that column so you say country short name let's run the query and you see that now our results are broken into multiple results by country short name so you see that before I was getting 253 and total rows 8 now the total sale is divided into four records total so we have 30 60 10 and 150 and we have uh, row count by that group by so for country short name there are two records here one one and four but the mystery is here we do not know we, this record belong to which country okay so why not to use the same column in the select query to see the column name so i'm going to put a comma here and now if i will run this query it is going to give me the records by the country short name and also provide me the name of a country short name so i can see that oh there was a null country short name and uh, there was two rows uh, and uh, that's uh, the total of sale is uh, 30. then i have canada for canada there was only one record and uh, the 60 was the value for sale amount and there was a pk there was only one record uh, as you can see here and us had four records uh, and uh, 153 is the total sale amount for us one thing to notice here if you see here in the null value i'm going to go ahead and type my select query for entire rows so you i can show you guys what is happening here so let's run this both queries together to see the result set now let me go a little up so i can display everything and see here in the country short name we have null here with the value 25 
then I have another null in the country short name with the value 5. You see that when we use the group by and it put the null into one category. So it summed null and telling us, oh, there are two records in the country short name with the null value and the total sum for that is 30. So 25 right here, you see 25 and then we have 5 here. So right here. And uh, as we're grouping by country short name. So uh, in the previous videos, I've been telling you guys null is not equal to null in SQL Server. And uh, if you are comparing them uh, where you say, oh, null is equal to null, give me this. It's not equal to null is not equal to null. But in case of a uh, group by, all the nulls are grouped together. So here we had two null values. They are grouped together into one null. And that's why it tells us, oh, there are two nulls here. And the sum is uh, this one. So you are not going to get uh, uh, two rows for null values here it will be grouped into one with the aggregate functions and group by now till here we are all good but uh, now the question kind of change here they will say oh give me the value of uh, some of the total sale amount by country and also i would like to have uh, and state uh, state name now what you have to do in the group by you will simply put the column or uh, you would like to categorize so here now we are grouping by country name and state name now these values will be broken down here so if you see here right now we are only grouping by country and us has four records so now the us if all the four state has this us has all four states this with the same name we will have one row but if there are multiple states in us uh, especially in our case uh, we have here if you see for us we have new jersey you see that right here i have uh, for us i have new jersey i have new jersey here so this will be grouped together and then i have us new mexico and then i have us uh, null so you see that when we are going to group them together so by country name and state name so if uh, they match then it's going to be summed together and otherwise uh, there will be separate uh, record uh, let's go ahead and run this query and select run and now you see that before we were getting uh, only uh, if i run uh, let me take this query and show you without the state and then with state so you can compare the results uh, so right here see here it was only returning us four records because we were only grouping by country now as we have included the state now we are getting seven records and you see that there are only one record with the where country and state is the same and that we know that this is you that's a us and new jersey and if you take a look from here you have the value here 12 and then we have value 54 that make it 66 so now even you see that oh one thing i would like to say oh i even don't see my state name here but still uh, it is it is giving you false results uh, no it is giving you the right results uh, but you did not display your state name in the select query so that's the reason but uh, your results are grouped by country short name and state uh, so even uh, you can you you did it, you did display those columns here in the select or you did not this it doesn't really matter they will be divided or categorized by the group by whatever group by uh, column list you will provide and uh, you can go ahead and run this now in this case uh, you will have both columns now see i put uh, the state name here so i can see what exactly state names are and uh, here we have uh, this is the first query that's uh, where we are only grouping by country short name and also displaying the country here so we can see these records belong to which country and here we are displaying a country short name and state and uh, that's why we can see them here and this is where we can see the sum of sale amount and count of those records by uh, country short name and sale amount you see that here null there was two nulls and uh, we have show uh, null in the country short name and null in the state so this is this was categorized as one record and then we have us and null so that's not matching with the above so it is a categorized in the second record so you see that jersey and uh, us uh, 
uh, as a country, U.S. and uh, state uh, New Jersey, that categorized as one record and summed because there was two records, they were summed together and make us uh, one uh, aggregate value and there was two records so it tell us how many count it was and then for us and new mexico as we are categorizing them or grouping by country short name and state so these are different from the above so there are new record uh, got generated here so and the same goes for others now here even you see that we have punjab state but as the country is different so they will not be summed together so these records are not summed together because the first record has country name short name null and state punjab and the second one has the country pk and punjab so they will be categorized or grouped by whatever the columns you will provide in the group by again the columns let's say if you would just like to see uh and you remember that you can provide these columns here or you cannot so let's say if i would like to totally remove a country short name and state from a select query i have the option so uh, i can do that but that doesn't really make a whole lot sense because i don't know this record belong to which country name and state name so it's a good idea to have those columns in the select on top of that let's say if you have those columns there but one of the column is not in the group by so that's not gonna work so here I'm saying oh group by only country but display me in the state name in the select it cannot really do it because it is summoned by the country short name it is taken the count by the country short name then you put state here how it is gonna aggregate that value so um th that's the problem so if you run something like this you are going to get this uh, error saying oh dbo customer state name is in is invalid in the select list because it is not contained in either an aggregate function or the group by clause so if you would like to have a column state name here you have to group by and provide the, the column here but the other way around uh, you have totally freedom uh, to display whatever the columns uh, um, let's say in this case if you don't want to display these columns what are in the group by that's fine you can remove them but if you have a column here but that's not in the group by clause that's a, then you're gonna get an error so thanks very much for watching this video and I will see you guys in next video